Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. That sound means help is on the way. When you hear that siren, you know that one of the most amazing vehicles ever built is racing to the rescue. With flashing lights, powerful hoses, and brave firefighters aboard, fire trucks are real life superhero vehicles designed for one incredible mission saving lives and protecting our communities. But there's so much more to these amazing machines than just their sirens and bright red color. Fire trucks might seem simple from the outside, big red vehicles with ladders and hoses, but there's actually an incredible variety of specialized fire trucks, each designed for specific types of emergencies. Let's start by exploring the main types you might see racing through your city or town. First up is the engine, sometimes called a pumper. This is probably what you picture when you think of a fire truck, the classic red truck with hoses and a water pump. Fire engines are usually the first to arrive at a fire. Their main job is to bring firefighters, water, and hose equipment to the scene. Inside the truck is a powerful pump that can move hundreds or even thousands of gallons of water per minute through the hoses. Next, we have ladder trucks, also called aerials or truck companies. These are the fire trucks with the giant ladders or platforms that can extend high into the air, some reaching over 100 feet. That's about as tall as a 10-story building. Ladder trucks are essential for rescuing people from tall buildings and for giving firefighters access to fires in high places. Many modern ladder trucks have a bucket or platform at the top where firefighters can stand while they work, and some can even spray water from the top. Another important type is the rescue truck, which is like a giant toolbox on wheels. These specialized vehicles don't usually pump water or have ladders. Instead, they carry a huge variety of rescue equipment for different emergencies, tools for cutting people out of wrecked cars, equipment for rescuing people who have fallen into trenches or collapsed buildings, medical supplies, and specialized gear for water rescues. Rescue trucks respond to all kinds of emergencies beyond just fires. Some communities also have specialized wildland fire trucks designed specifically for fighting forest and brush fires. These are often smaller and more rugged than city fire trucks with the ability to drive over rough terrain to reach fires in remote areas. They usually carry less water, but have special pumps that can draw water from lakes, streams, or portable tanks. The history of fire trucks is fascinating. In the very early days before motorized vehicles, firefighters used hand-pulled carts, carrying water buckets and simple pumps. Later came horse-drawn fire wagons, which were a huge improvement, but still had limitations. The horses had to be constantly cared for and trained not to fear fire. The first motorized fire trucks in America began appearing around 1904 to 1905, with Kansas City establishing the first completely motorized fire department in 1907. Time for our first quiz, multiple choice question. Which fire truck has a very tall ladder that can reach high places? A, rescue truck, B, fire engine, C, ladder truck, D, wildland fire truck. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal, to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists we make ad-free content like this one to support our learning, and our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America to support their children's communication skills. Visit getgoalie.com today and use the code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said C, ladder truck, then well done. Now that we know the different types of fire trucks, let's explore what makes these vehicles so special. 
One of the most important features of any fire truck is its ability to pump water. Modern fire engines have incredibly powerful pumps that can move 1,500 to 2,000 gallons of water per minute. That's enough to fill a backyard swimming pool in just a few minutes. These pumps are so strong that the water pressure coming out of a fire hose can actually knock a person over. That's why firefighters are trained to handle the hoses properly and why it takes multiple firefighters to control a single large hose. But water isn't the only substance fire trucks can spray. Many modern fire trucks also carry foam systems. Foam is especially effective for fighting certain types of fires, like those involving gasoline or other flammable liquids. The foam creates a blanket over the burning liquid, separating it from oxygen and stopping the fire. The tools carried on fire trucks go far beyond just hoses and ladders. Modern fire trucks are like rolling tool sheds packed with specialized equipment. They carry powerful cutting tools that can slice through metal car frames to rescue trapped people. They have specialized breathing apparatus that allows firefighters to enter smoke-filled buildings. They carry thermal imaging cameras that can see through smoke to find people or hidden fire hotspots. And they have advanced communication systems that help coordinate the emergency response. One of the most important tools on a fire truck is actually something you might not think about, lights and sirens. These warning devices serve a crucial purpose, clearing a path through traffic so the fire truck can reach the emergency quickly. The inside of a fire truck's cab, the front part where firefighters sit, is like a command center on wheels. Modern fire trucks have computers, GPS navigation systems, and communication equipment that helps firefighters coordinate with dispatchers and other emergency responders. Fire trucks are designed to carry not just equipment, but also a team of firefighters. A typical fire engine usually carries four to six firefighters while a ladder truck might carry five to seven. When firefighters aren't responding to emergencies, they spend a lot of time taking care of their trucks. Fire trucks must be kept in perfect working condition at all times because lives depend on them functioning properly. Time for our second quiz. Ready, true or false? Fire trucks have lights and sirens to help them move quickly through traffic. If you said true, then well done. That's right. Firefighters are often the first responders to car accidents, medical emergencies, hazardous material spills, and natural disasters like floods or earthquakes. Many fire departments now respond to more medical calls than actual fires. This is why modern fire trucks carry medical equipment and why many firefighters are also trained as emergency medical technicians, EMTs, or paramedics. Fire trucks around the world can look quite different from the ones we're familiar with in North America, in Japan for example. Where streets are often narrow and crowded, fire departments use smaller, more compact fire trucks that can navigate tight spaces. Some European countries use fire trucks in colors other than red. You might see yellow or even lime green fire trucks in Germany or Sweden. And in some remote areas or developing countries, fire trucks might be adapted from ordinary vehicles or built to operate in specific challenging conditions. Some of the most unusual fire trucks are designed for very specific situations. Airport fire trucks, for example, are massive vehicles built to handle aircraft fires. They can carry thousands of gallons of water and foam and can spray while driving at high speeds to reach a burning airplane quickly. Technology continues to change how fire trucks are built and operated. Some newer fire trucks have advanced systems that can actually pump water while the truck is moving, allowing firefighters to drive alongside a wildfire and spray water as they go. In some parts of the world, engineers are developing electric and hybrid fire trucks that produce less pollution and operate more quietly. These eco-friendly fire trucks are still relatively rare, but they represent the future of emergency response vehicles. 
the brave men and women who operate these amazing vehicles undergo rigorous training, not just in firefighting techniques, but also in driving these large, complex vehicles. Fire truck drivers must be able to navigate through traffic safely, even at high speeds during emergencies. They learn special driving techniques and must practice regularly on training courses. They also need to know exactly how every system on their truck works and be able to operate the equipment quickly in stressful situations. Time for our last quiz, multiple choice question. What color are fire trucks in some countries like Germany or Sweden? A, blue, B, yellow or lime green, C, purple, D, black and white, If you said B, yellow or lime, then well done. That's right, fire trucks are truly community heroes, always ready to respond when danger strikes. They stand as symbols of safety and protection in communities around the world. Next time you see a fire truck, whether it's racing to an emergency with lights and sirens or parked at your local fire station, remember all the amazing capabilities packed into these special vehicles and the brave firefighters who operate them. And maybe someday, you might even be one of the brave firefighters riding aboard these amazing rescue vehicles, ready to protect your community and save lives. Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is, we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit getgoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech.